want to build briefly about something that I was thinking in terms of male and female relationships and family structure and preparing our communities. And one of the things that I've noticed over the years is with this rugged individualistic or um, shitty independent attitude that some women have, they've been taking on a very unnatural role in terms of the context of a relationship. And what I mean by that is some women are out here behaving like they're scrambling or fighting for the last piece of meat on the table. That's not the woman's role and responsibility, and that is definitely not the way a woman, as symbolic to wisdom, should be expressing herself. But unfortunately, when you have things not in their proper order, a woman has been taken on the responsibility of providing and protecting when that is the natural role and responsibility of the man. So sometimes when I'm out and about in the day, I see women who are hanging out at the malls or going to brunch with their friends at the park with their children in the middle of the day, you know, where they don't have the same degree of stressors that a woman deals with that's, you know, worried about if she's going to have the money to pay this bill or, you know, whether she's going to have to be able to do this or that or she's running around doing. When you don't have a house, it's difficult and damn near impossible to think about a home. And when I say the difference between house and home, that's like the difference between knowledge and wisdom. And the 5% we teach that man is symbolic to knowledge, which is the foundation. That is also synonymous with being structural or having the ability to organize or establish a sense of stability, fortitude, integrity. Because in order to build a house, you have to have a blueprint, which also means you have to have vision. You have to have a plan. And these are some of the natural roles and responsibility of a man because as a protector and a provider, we build that structure. We establish that integrity, which along with that integrity, that fortitude, comes some confidence or some expectancy that a woman will have in order to support or accentuate or edify that foundation that we're building. So a man is symbolic to the house. A woman is symbolic to the home because she as decorum, she helps beautify, she helps edify that foundation. So her thoughts should be considerations based upon the home, not the house. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you have too many women who are balancing these, these or striving to balance these considerations for the house and the home. That should be taken care of. So I was building with my daughter the other day. And telling her, like, yo, when you're meeting guys, you have to quiz them to see if they have vision, if they have a plan. They can't tell you about where they see themselves in three years and they can't spell that out the same way that you can. Then you have to look at that like he's not really ready to play that natural role that he should be able to play towards you as a man. Because he has not invested enough in establishing a blueprint in order to build a house so if there's not a house there how can you make nothing into a home or if a man ain't doing shit how could you help him not do shit you know what i'm saying so one of the things that i see is as men we have to be more invested in being able to build that structure or that foundation in order to create a sanctuary or a safe space that a woman is able to come in and accentuate, to add decorum and to beautify, because that is her natural role and responsibility, not striving to build and establish a whole foundation, then on top of that, be thinking about adding decorum and making it into a home and stuff. A lot of the women that's doing that, I give you a lot of respect, and I support that type of work ethic and ambition, but that's not your natural role and responsibility. There's a lot of stresses that come along with you taking on that nat that role and responsibility that is what we should be doing. You know, in a relationship, our women should work if they choose to. If she wants to be an entrepreneur or open up a boutique shop or something, it should be because she chooses to. Not because she has to, because now you're moving into this area where there's going to be unnatural stressors upon her 
to the point where she's going to be like some of these other women that's out here scrambling and fighting for the last piece of meat on the table. Our woman shouldn't be doing nothing like that. You know, a lot of us talk about, you know, this is the queen and this is the queen. Queens don't scramble and fight for the last piece of meat on the table. They do not step down off their chariot to throw tomatoes at the peasants. And a lot of that behavior is beneath a woman in terms of her natural role and responsibility. A woman should not be lifting her fingers. A woman should be able to move stuff with a few well-chosen words and very little effort. But if she's not in that role and responsibility, if she doesn't have that safe space or that sanctuary to operate in her natural role and responsibility, we're going to continue to see this imbalance in the family structure. And if men are not stepping up to take care of what we need to take care of and stop living up under women and letting them take care of us and not having a plan or a vision in order to establish a house, then we're not going to have the opportunities for a woman to be able to make that house into a home. So I will. This was inspiring, empowering, and educating and gave those of you some insight into what I've been thinking about, you know, and writing about lately. We definitely have to get back to balance. And, you know, some people will hear this conversation and say, well, that's, that's old-fashioned, you know, and, well, <laughs> ain't nothing more old-fashioned here than the planet Earth. <laughs> You know, and the planet Earth has been around for a long time, and we've had to respect the fact that there are natural things about the planet Earth that allows us to optimize our life and to live a healthier life. And there's other things that are just simply unnatural that takes away from our ability to have a long, healthy life. And... You know, if you're confused about what it is, then I encourage you to put your own theories to the test. You know, if you think what I'm saying is not right and exact or whatever, then if you're a woman and you want to keep fighting and scrambling for the last piece of meat on the table, you know, see how much, you know, health benefits come along with living that kind of way. You know, if you're a dude and you're just sitting back not doing shit, you ain't got no plan, no vision about where you see yourself within the next three or five years, keep living like that and see what the results will be. You know, but if you're looking for something different that is more efficient and a more sound, effective way to live, then I encourage you to consider the things that I'm saying. As a man, work on establishing a foundation. Make and own what you are building. And from there, you're in a proper position for a woman to even look at you with a sense of confidence and expectancy of being able to lead and to do things in a natural order that a man does. Women, look for those type of men. Don't be wasting your time with these dudes that is just fun and games. And if it's going to be fun and games, keep that shit that way. Don't make it into anything more than that. And if you're going to play like that, but best case scenario, don't even waste your time. So I just wanted to share that. <laughs> Peace.